Golu Archbishop Right Reverend John Baptist Odama read the joint statement at the Catholic Secretariat in Zambia. The bill, according to Odama, contravenes Article 20, Clause 1 of the Constitution and Article 29 of the same Supreme Law that guarantees freedom of expression, speech, movement and assembly, which also includes freedom of the media. You should also be mindful of Article 29, which further guarantees freedom of expression, speech, movement and assembly. Article 20 stresses that fundamental human rights are inherent and not granted by the state. The bishops have called for a general increment in salaries to match the current economic hardships and also address the concerns that have resulted into strikes from teachers, university lecturers and other groups. This apparent loss of values and frustration across the country, so believes the clergymen. Government had earlier warned clerics against interference in state affairs seeking to keep them at their power pits in church. They now say the current hardships in the country are a result of past mistakes and omissions. Quoting the book of 1 Peter chapter 4 verse 10, bishops have called upon all leaders to rise up and address the country's concerns conclusively. In their criticism against corruption and extravagant spending, the men of God have backed efforts by Parliament to investigate and regularize the country's oil sector. We further recommend that public officers who are consistently linked to corruption scandals be relieved of their duties in the interest of the common good. They express serious concern over proposals to restrict the right to bail as contravening the presumption of one's innocence until otherwise proven after a competently administered fair trial. Moses outside Lubega, Bahati Remi, Nuwa Cheyune, NBS TV, Platinum News.